Hello and welcome to CCTV42. In this video we're going to look at setting up motion triggered recording on your DVR recorder. It's worth mentioning we don't recommend that you rely solely on motion triggered recording, rather that you record 24 hours a day and use a motion triggered facility to create a bookmark rather than the sole means of recording footage. So open up the main menu, click setup, then click alarm and then click motion. This is the main control panel for motion triggered recording. To enable motion triggering, simply check the enable box for that particular camera and click apply. The holding time dictates how long a camera will record after it detects motion. In the trigger settings you can enable a buzzer when motion is detected. You can also tell the DVR to show one particular camera full screen on detection of motion. It doesn't necessarily have to be the camera which motion is detected on. You can also get the DVR to email you a snapshot when motion is detected. Here we can select which cameras the image is taken from. In this section we can tell the DVR which channels to record when motion is detected. So although in this case motion is being looked for on channel 1, other channels will be recorded at the same time. And here we can instruct a PTZ camera to perform a certain operation when motion is detected. In this case, we're telling the PTZ camera to go to a preset point. So in this case, when motion is detected on camera 1, the PTZ camera on channel 9 will go to preset point 3. The area setting is probably the most important one to get right. This tells the DVR where on the screen to look for movement. In this case, it's the whole of the screen. Generally, you want to set as small an area as possible as a trigger patch to avoid false alarms. So clear the screen and then press and hold the left key on the mouse and simply drag the cursor to place the trigger patch. To take it away, keep it held down and go back over the area again. Once you've selected and saved your motion trigger area, the DVR has a facility whereby you can check to see if you're happy. Click the icon of the man and then when motion is detected in the zone, you'll see a little yellow icon showing on screen. This means the DVR has detected movement in that area. And don't forget, to get motion trigger working you not only have to enable it on the motion control panel, you also have to schedule it in the motion scheduled section. Scheduled recording is shown on another video. Once you're happy with everything, simply exit the menus. Well I hope you found that useful. My name's Henry, we're CCTV42. Many thanks for watching.